How do you know if you have Crohn's or colitis? Colitis is inflammation of the colon, the last part of the intestines. And so they need to find inflammation somewhere in the colon. They put a camera up your butt, it's called a colonoscopy, and they see if there's inflammation in the colon. Now this camera can only come up to here and sometimes they can cram it up into here and they can look to about this. And usually if they find inflammation here in the small intestine, somebody might get diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Now, Crohn's disease is a very confusing term, which Dr. Crohn, the discoverer of Crohn's disease, did not want to call it that. He wanted to call it regional ileitis. Usually, somebody gets diagnosed with Crohn's disease when they find inflammation in the small intestines. You could do a capsule endoscopy, or they do an MRI or sometimes even an x-ray, but normally they're doing MRIs to verify inflammation in the small intestine. And if you have inflammation here and in the colon, usually they, they'll tell you you got Crohn's colitis. They could say you have transcolitis, which is you know, inflammation throughout the whole colon. So what these words are supposed to mean is the location followed by itis. You have inflammation, you have chronic inflammation that won't go away here or here, in the colon or in the small intestine. Crohn's is used to describe inflammation in the small intestine. Usually, you, you just can't, you just, it's, it's a horrible term. It's very confusing. They shouldn't be using, they should be calling it ileitis. This is the ileum. They should call it ileitis. Or this is the duodenum, duodenitis. The duodenum, duodenitis. The stomach, gastritis. That's what they've been doing since the dawn of time. I don't know why they're doing this with Crohn's disease.